All right, here we are. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Uh, how are you too? Good. How, how are, are you? you? Well, I've just been. Uh, I've just had my antibiotics. What are you taking antibiotics for? So that bloody heel is not sh healing. The heel is not he healing. Your heel won't heal. No, it's not. What's healing. wrong with your heel? We're starting well, off with some medical it's, it's stuff. It's all going wrong before Pam left. Before the first time we went down south. It's so, not... are you blaming Pam? Is this your Absolutely. fault? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, totally my fault. Okay. How was your Christmas? It was lovely. It was lovely. I spent it with you. Uh huh. And it was lovely. And what happened? Uh, I don't know. I dropped the vegetables and they broke all over the ground and I cut my hand and bled all over oh, my throat. Oh, you silly Billy. Oh, no. It's gone septic. Um, it has no, it hasn't. It. No, no I knew hasn't. that was a lie. I mean, you fed me it, boy. You got me. Know. You got me. Uh, well, first of all, let's just, will you tilt in a little, show Jose his present? Just tilt. There you go. We just want to show everyone ah, Jose is here. Oh, yeah. Yes. So Jose's here. Um, but no, I thought what we could talk about would be like New Year's because it's almost New Year's. And okay. New Year's is it's a new year. Like you're saying, we have a civil war to look forward to. You're getting emotional. Well, I can uh, tell. Yes. And uh, it's OK. And I understand it's I a lot. It it's a lot. starts off with the, den, with the doom, and gloom. doom and gloom. Yes, that's like his. Uh, yeah, that's his bread and butter. That's how he starts. Okay. And then we get into the main course. Um, But so for New Year's, there's New Year's resolutions. Now, yeah. I was going to see. um. What have you ever has anyone here ever made a New Year's resolution that they have stuck to? Has anyone ever done that? Have you done that? I don't think so, but I can't remember. I, I don't think so. OK, what about you two? Anything? Hillary? No, I've never stuck to a New Year's well, resolution. Uh, I can't say I've really ever made one. I mean, no. I maybe did in the past, maybe like losing weight or something or being a bit okay. more positive, but. I've never kept a New Year's resolution. Yeah, I, th I, th I think that would be that would be the one I think that most people would do, especially after gorging themselves at Christmas. I think you're a bit too close. You need to sit back a bit. I'm a bit God damn me, I'm too Your close. Your head seems we to be taking Well, you know, I'm feeling comfortable sitting like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. Okay, you sit forward a wee bit. Garfi's got a lovely jumper, Christmas jumper that just came up. On when he was on another screen, just then it was lovely. It was. Oh. You need to explain it better. And it was all glittery. The jump, the Christmas jumper, it was lovely. Black. <laughs> <laughs> Paints a word picture, doesn't she? Yeah. Uh, so are you comfortable with how you're sitting, Nigel? And Hillary, you have notes for Nigel how he's sitting. Uh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. He needs to move yeah. back. Oh, and Nigel, what are you back. wearing? Are you wearing the Marty McFly from Back to the Future sort of half vest? Well, what I'm wearing is my uh, armless. <laughs> yeah, it's armless. <laughs> Just yeah. let me armless. <laughs> yeah. No, you're heelless, from what I understand. You're actually heelless. <laughs> I've still got a cough. I did wonder if he was Have going you still to cough. Pardon? Yeah, you've all had COVID. You've had COVID. Well, I don't Nigel, know you gave COVID, but I, I guessed it. Nigel COVID. COVID. Yeah. That was a week past. That's, and that's that's the gift that keeps on giving. That's the thing I love about well, it. Well, he's going to keep recurring. I'll tell you that. That's he's exciting. Going to be there with us for years and years. Yes, I agree with that for sure. Jo um, came to Ross today and she said that they've been advised to mask again. So what she came she? to the, she came in mask. She That's said, his key worker. She, she he didn't have, she said he didn't have to mask, but she said their advice from today was that they've got to mask again. Oh really? So yeah. did you mask? No. We stood in the kitchen. I we, masked in the doctor's surgery. We were in the kitchen. Did you? But they were masking in the surgery. Yeah. Yeah, some people yeah. were. were yeah, I was. Were. I did. Yeah, yeah. But certainly yeah. Joe, that that was their uh, advice from today that they've got to start masking again. I had a Christmas sweater as well. It was yellow. Yellow. Yellow, yellow. and black. It's really quite a fashionista. Yellow. I bet that they call me yellow. mellow yellow. Oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> is that that one you got from the Okay, here we go. Oh, I see. Maggie May. Not Maggie May. And hold on. This is the this is the guest of Christmas past that I was promising. Maggie me, ha ha. 
That's right. Maggie May. Ha ha. Wow. You're good, oh. Nigel. No, no. My memory hasn't totally deserted me. You know, if you wanted to adopt Maggie, she could be Maggie Maiden because your last name's Hayden. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, that, that, but that is, uh, that's Fiona's dog called Maggie May, isn't it? What? Is she Maggie May. She yeah. is Maggie May. Mm. Fiona's dog is Maggie May, the Labrador, Black mm. Labrador. But she's Maggie. Okay. Did, um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, so have you been busy today then, just going to the doctors? Oh. No, we were supposed to do a few things, but it all kind of, Hillary got her hair kind of, it all crumbled. No, hair didn't crumble, but she had it done. Did it? Well, you by had Fiona. Your hair done. Well, Probably just, that just was, uh, I went to hers because Jen. A blow dry. Uh, um, Sydney had left her nail polishes behind and she wanted them back. So I took them down to the shop and I got a blow dry. Look at my nails, they're green. Oh, my word. Oh, they're lovely. I painted my nails green. That was, that you was, did them. no, Sydney. Sydney did them. Oh, Sydney, Sydney painted them green. Okay, there we go. Ah, hello. Okay. Hey. So, so oh, I like that the, doll's house behind you. Is that all doll? right, yes. Nigel. You don't need to. Uh, Nigel. So this is what I thought. I thought because I thought that Maggie would be the guest of Christmas past because, Nigel, you've expressed on the pandemics of past that your favorite person on these uh, is Maggie, much more than myself, much more than... My mother, <laughs> you really yes. would rather see Maggie. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Black Lives well, Matter. Is that true? Yeah. Is that true, Nigel? Well, I think you've put a little bit of um, cherry on the top there, but uh, yes, I think that was quite okay. True. There we go. Yes, How are you, Maggie? Yeah. I'm good. How are you? Good. And just so you know, that's not a dollhouse. Maggie has uh, made herself 85 times her normal size in the past <laughs> year since you've seen her. Um, so, well, first of all, Maggie, Nigel's heel septic. So I want to let you know oh, about that. Oh. That's a nice oh, no. topic of a conversation. Well, well I'm just, I, I wanted to do Maggie the big update. You know. Well, Maggie knows now. Now we all know you have a septic heel. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to talk about were New Year's resolutions. Now, yeah. we've established already, Maggie, that uh, Nigel's never made one that he stuck to. Hillary's never done one. My mother's never done one. I've done them. Have you ever done one? You know, the one this year I did. I wanted You're... to read one book a month. And Ooh. so far I've done it. And if I can read a book tonight, I <laughs> will be. Yeah. You've left so you it have late to, like, for December. Cram. Like at yeah. school. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty amazing. So that was this year's last one. Yeah. See, the one I did was I gave up coffee because uh, I used to drink coffee by the pot and I gave up coffee for 10 years. And then I started drinking coffee again this like two months ago because everyone <laughs> was like, it's really good for you. Apparently it is. They've done yeah. New research. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. I've done my research. Exactly. Yeah. Nigel. I'm yeah, quite exactly. meticulous. You know, Gareth, you're um, good at like giving up stuff for a while. Yeah, that is very true. I have this personality oh, but alcohol, where I'm like, Gareth. Uh, uh, Nigel, you're breaking up a little bit, but well, I do dry <laughs> January. I never drink for January. I'm so, doing dry uh, January too. You know, for yeah, many I years, think... I've hardly taken a drink. Very little. You think you're better than us? No. Okay, because no, no. just so you know, I that's just, how it's going. I, 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 I just get scared off when I saw Ross taking to drink all those years ago. Well, I mean, I, that is definitely that's my cousin, Maggie. And by proxy, my uncle is saying he saw me drink a lot, too. I don't know is that the Hillary hold my teeth cousin? Hillary. That what's that? Is that the hold my teeth cousin? That is the hold my teeth cousin, which is a story. Did I tell that on this? That's amazing. <laughs> what is that? That's that when we got into story. a fight. We got into a fight once and he gave me he was about to engage in combat and he took his teeth out and he goes like someone would be like, hold my coat or like he gave me his teeth. He goes, hold my teeth. And then I was like holding his teeth like a just like he was like a dancer and he just giving me his cape or something. He, ne uh, he never wears his teeth now, Gareth. He never wears well, them. He's comfy around you. It's a compliment. <laughs> that means he's comfortable around you. Um, but that's pretty good, Maggie. That's a pretty good one. I um, I think Maggie knows who Hillary is. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. My mother's really yeah, hung up on the introduction. Sister. Younger you, sister. Would you like us to go around and talk about each other? Do you feel like? We, we, have I not done a good enough intro? If you, no, no, okay. no, no. We feel good? Yeah, I feel very happy. Okay, all right, okay. And Maggie, you know who I am? And Nigel, just so you know, it's not just you who likes Maggie better than me. When uh, my family out here came to see my stand-up, Maggie was nice enough to do some time opening up for me. And uh, people would ask if Maggie was doing the show, and that was the only way they would come um, to see Maggie, um, asking if they she was, was she going to be doing different material because they know I'm going to be doing the same material. So it all got very backhanded and, and pretty awful. Well, yeah, um, quite right, though, quite right. Anyway, so, okay, so here are some New Year's resolutions. And let's see, would you would anyone do any of these? Has anyone ever done any of these? Get in shape is the most common one. Nigel, have you ever done anything like that? Have you ever said this year I'm getting in shape? Oh, I think that's the opposite. The long pause. I think I think the opposite is I'm getting out of shape. That, that was, so that's that your that's bit. your goal every year. You're like that's a byproduct of the, the sore heel. I couldn't even walk for a couple of few weeks now. So that so really effectively that yeah. But I, I, I can't run these days. I, I used to do quite a lot of running, but uh, not now. I used to be so, in reasonable shape. I'm now, now what about diet? What about diet? Do, can you clean up your diet? I could clean up my diet. I should clean up my and diet. Do only you? For diet, only for Have you diet. been on the chocolates? Today, I haven't had a chocolate. No, no. It's only 8 p.m. Did you have chocolates yesterday? Did we have chocolates yesterday? I, um, he can't I speak think I had two himself. chocolates yesterday. You did have chocolate. Chocolate box. Oh yeah, to the heroes box. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got Quality Street. So oh, maybe oh, England, I missed. Oh. I missed out on that. Oh yeah, I love Quality <laughs> Street. In England, you basically yeah, and Mum's just put like raw chocolate in the dish, which is quite an interesting call too. So oh it's yeah, a bit, good. Yeah, Any it's jellies. A bit, no jelly babies. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just I really you need some jelly babies. We've got jelly so. Babies. Are you upset that I didn't get you jelly babies? No, because if I start eating them, I'm like a um a, an like alcoholic. a cokehead at Studio Fifty Four. Like an alcoholic without going back on drink. Mm. Okay, that again is a <laughs> that's a jab towards us, Maggie. Obviously, um, have you ever decided you're going to get in weight for New Year's? Have you ever said anything like that? Wait, oh, yes, yeah. yeah, get in shape, lose weight. Yes. Yeah. No, she's a yeah. supermodel. No, come on. Yeah. I think I'm she not, should be it, thinking about putting on some weight. I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm not telling her to lose weight, everybody. Oh, no, you're suggesting it almost. He's, you're implanting he's the idea. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. He's cooked so much food. I must have put on a stone. Oh, who's that? Oh, That's my friend's dog. Who's think oh. it's chaos. Everything's chaos. How are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> she's a, she she really the I was trying to kind of keep her out of frame a little bit and um but she wouldn't take no for an answer would you oh. She says I'm a star Yeah she no, has, she's, like she's, like she's been in this dog. house she's too long Um Hillary you've you ever made a new year's resolution you've stuck to anything like that Yeah to get rid of me <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He said he said stuck to. Yeah. <laughs> so one that maybe about losing weight or um maybe, but I've never I really it isn't something I is that a thing in England to people? Is is it as much of a thing as it is here? I know have, have you ever did you smoke, Hillary? Were you ever a smoker? I did smoke a bit, yes, at one stage. And then you gave not, up. Okay. This yeah, but not a lot. Not not anything I'd ever think about giving up for new, at new year. You know, never no. Do you enjoy that like kissing? Do you enjoy that kissing, there, Gareth? I'm giving up. I'm giving up. This dog is for 14 being I think you want, you, want, you want to divorce that dog, I think. <laughs> no, good Lord. No, I just, I want to see other animals. Um, I, Did you ever smoke, Nigel? No. Never smoked. Maggie, you never no. smoked, did you? Not cigarettes. No, not. Whoa. Oh, that's interesting, Gormit. I smoked. Oh, I saw I'm... that look in that eye there. <laughs> What else were you smoking, Maggie? And my and my and my my resolution was usually to give up smoking. And then did it? It took one. Oh no! Well, I never gave it. I've never told anybody. I just. Are you still smoking and just going out back at night? No. You don't smoke. No. Did you give it up for New Year's? No. I well, yes, I do remember making those resolutions. I'm not going to smoke. Did you give it up for a New Year's resolution? Probably. 
Okay, but good. Did, but then I started up again. Okay, so that's going to go <laughs> in the no category, technically. I don't want to be a stickler. I definitely would try to give up uh, smoking all the time, but... Uh, Are you yeah. still and smoking? And I did eventually. No, no, no. no. Not cigarettes. <laughs> we're just out here smoking turkeys nigel we're smoking turkeys yeah, they, yeah turkeys, don't worry oh, about oh, it turkeys, I, I, turkey's not my favorite actually it's an american well, you gotta turkey. roll it in some paper and pass it around it's a good hit <laughs> um, in britain in britain for that for that day bird disease we lost half the turkeys in the country. <laughs> Nigel, there you just are. A, you're just full of positivity. And I like to say the turkeys are half full. Personally, that's the way I live life. <laughs> Maybe Speaking of which, new another resolution. New Year's resolution was enjoy life to the fullest. Now, enjoy life to the fullest. I've enjoyed it before. I've run have you? Swing. Yeah. Really? I, I, I used to have a happy life. What do you have now? Happy. Well, I have a degenerating body. A dege so, and that makes your life fun. But you had chocolate yesterday. That was fun. Ah, well. It was supposedly fun when we went over to Fiona's. You know, we had a nice time over there. Okay. Oh, boy. I think Fiona actually stayed the night, last night, with the two kids. Oh, she that's fun. Because Mr. J. Trump, Mr. J. Trump went up to Scotland to support Aberdeen playing against Kilmarnock at Kilmarnock. Ha, what, yesterday ha. Trump was well, in Scotland? Not one. My team won. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. okay. Maggie, do you enjoy life to the fullest? Have you ever made that a resolution? Do you feel like you enjoy your life to the fullest? Um, You I got a dollhouse that you've been working on behind you. That's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. And I have another one to the side, too. Do um, you collect them? Do you collect dollhouses? I do. I do. Um, and then I also... Here, let me... I make little oh. dioramas in like oh dioramas, yeah, elves and stuff like that. So I guess I'm enjoying life to the fullest. I've never yeah. made that as a. So do you do those interiors if, if you put? Or do you have a tiny little interior designer that goes around them for you? Oh no, I do all of them. Hold you on, do let all me... of it. Yeah. Oh my good gosh. Yeah. That's See, amazing. and you're all just sitting here, just oh, pretending yeah. like you're living life to the fullest. Gosh. That must take up <laughs> a lot of time, that. That's intricate. Oh, that's the packed house. Yeah. Maggie, do you get the dolls' houses from charity shops or? Oh no, secondhand? it's just a it's a shelf it's a bookshelf that I just repurposed. Ah, uh, and what about the one behind you then? This one I found on the street, and I just like re wallpapered it uh -huh. and um just put different things inside of it. It's certainly lovely, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Yeah. And you made all the clothes and everything for the dolls and. Oh no no no. Uh, the only outfit I made was this one, the dress. Uh huh. Yeah, there's no tiny tailor or anything. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Is this yeah. a new hobby, Maggie? Um, yeah. I used to just collect dolls and just kind of display them. And then I just kind of got a, during the pandemic, I was like, they need to be doing something. They need to be like, I can't sing. do anything. They will do something. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, so I you were just like, the, my first two and i've like slowly moved all of my books out of the shelves <laughs> so they're just like because you're reading them yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> have you you haven't got your doll handy she was in the kitchen wasn't she i've got to, yeah. and i was just thinking this now are we this. all presenting our dolls oh god this is a mess but this okay. came from america can we get it in there <gasps> this came from america wow. many years this took a ago. turn and it took, Nick sent it over and eventually, and there was lighting and everything to go, but the children, the, the imagine, children destroyed the it, giant children have destroyed still it. play with it. That's why it's in such a mess, but they're, they're, all that furniture, so it's really old. Anyway, I'll go and get the doll. That, that was going for the doll now. It's a good one. It's good. It's London, that was a nice London. one, yeah. But a lot of the Lumbie. kids have played with that. Okay. All right. Okay. It was Lumby. Okay. All right. So we've got dollhouses. They can't in England. You can't afford electricity in dollhouses anymore because of the Tories. Is that right? You can't afford it in your house. That's what I'm saying. Um. Okay. But well, now is Hillary is, going is, to get is, a doll? Isn't that a play? The doll's house. By would you call it the, the the Scandinavian guy? The doll's house. What's it called? It was. Sorry. It was London. My, my brain's London. gone. Look, this Maggie. was my last little doll that I had when I was 11. I love dolls. Oh, my Lord. And it's a little doll, but unfortunately... His head's come off. Its head's come off. It needs fixing. Oh, my God. But there she is. 
Oh and my then God. she's got a wardrobe of all their clothes. Oh, oh and that, God. so that's 60, that, over 60 years old. That that's Anne Boleyn. She's had her head chopped that's off. That's her little face. Look, she's very pretty. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's very pretty. She's feeling a bit forlorn. She has to get a body. She's decapitated. A body's a bit broken. Okay. That's so, anyway, that's same as me. I have my body broken. Dolly. It's but so we cute. Found somebody in England, haven't we, that would fix it? Yeah, that lady, and, that and lady it's down. Make it, yeah, it's making. So you found a, you found a woman who will put the head and the leg back on the doll. Yeah, yeah really Bam found that. Yeah, we hope so. We've got mm -hmm. to go down there and do that. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's okay, something great. for the springtime. Well, yeah, let's lock that in. Let's lock yeah. that in. Maybe that's off, a New uh, Year's resolution. You see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. That is. Uh, another New Year's resolution. Replace the head on the headless doll. Of course. Uh, is spend less, save more. Does anyone do that? Do you feel like you spend a lot, Nigel? Yeah, yeah I usually spend it in family, not myself. That's very magnanimous of you. But having said that, everybody here is going to be in trouble because of the increased cost of fuel, gas, and electricity. It's going right. up again. No, we can't keep the down. lights on in the dollhouses anymore. <laughs> well, yeah. It's, uh, the problem is we could we could sit in the cold, and that's why I've got this armless on. But when the the grandkids come, we can't really have them floating about in freezing cold, can we? No, no, you can't. But you could also say if they're not well behaved, you could show them that doll and tell them this is what happens oh, to you. Oh, chop the head off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you lose that head and a leg. Fiona's on my case if I say something. She says, how do you expect them to love you if you do that harsh? I said, they'll love me the way I am. I told them Wait, I will what are you love saying? them, but I'll tell so, what them are you when they do something wrong. What do you say? How do you say it? Because as someone who was partially raised by you and your uh, reprimandations, <laughs> there were times where I thought I was going to end up without a head. I mean, for instance, when I fell in the rose bush and then you had to pull the thorns out, <laughs> when I cut my hand yeah. when I was in Devon and we needed to get the rocks out and I had to go get stitches, when I had to go get the staples in my head, you were never like, look, son, Bad things happen. You were like, you're a bloody fool. <laughs> well, it's what? You don't do the same things these days, do you? <laughs> well, I don't tell you if I do. That's for Oh, sure. I see. Okay. So what do you say to them? How do you, like, if you were to say to one of your grandchildren well, no, now, I, let's I, say. I, I tell them off if they're not, if they're misbehaving. See, see, Fiona was like that when she was young, and she's quite happy for her kids to be cheeky and, and play up. And if I tell well, them, oh, you sound... they can't expect them to love you if you say that. I said, they can't. They can still love me. You told me the other day that you loved me very greatly. So it succeeded with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that tough love? That's that's Nigel love right there. <laughs> um, yeah, see, this is the side, Maggie, you don't see. You just get the, the Nigel just loves you. But if you were around him, it would be a lot of Maggie, come on for good sake. <laughs> and their dog's name's Maggie. So that might be like well, what Maggie life. told me before, she's never needed reprimanding. Well, exactly, uh, exactly, Nigel. That's exactly true. Well, mm -hmm. I had a belief in that. I had a great mm -hmm. belief in that. I never okay. fell in a bush. No. I never got rocks in my hand. Well, I'm I never sorry, Maggie. Twirling Maggie, an umbrella that, like that was something to do. I didn't do that. I damn it! I was just going to defend myself with the twirling of the umbrella. Because that's what got me to fall in the rose bush was the twirling of the what, what, that the rose bush that but, you what? that you that you probably gave me, Nigel. So you set the honey pot. I never gave you it. I would never. Yeah, give you gave me an umbrella to go out in the front breathe, yard, twirl, I, I, get I, I hypnotized, and fall in the rose tough bush. Boys so you don't like have umbrellas. Yeah, no, right. Tough boys nah, don't have umbrellas. Ah, bahookies. Nah, bahookies uh, for you. Don't steal bah my ones, bahookie. <laughs> N That's Maggie Bahookies, Bahookies was a, a Nigel word. Yeah, he invented the word Bahookies. <laughs> Bahookies. Bahookies. So you'd be I like, that'd be his way of saying bullshit. You'd be like, no, come on, let me go. Ah, Bahookies. Bahookies. <laughs> From Nigel was Yakabu. Yakabu was another oh, well, Nigel. That was the one I gave to Nick. That's, yeah. that's the inheritance I gave to Nick. Yakabu. Yep. That's when um, you're in the top what, of one of those big. Things that, uh, what do you call them? Roller coasters. Roller coasters. Okay, here's another one. Spend more time with family and friends. Now, do you feel like you do that a lot, Maggie? You live with your boyfriend, right? Uh, We hang out a lot. Okay. So and do you know his? That's smart. Pardon? That's the way to do it. Do you know, where does his family live? Do they live out there? Uh, No, they're uh, East Coast. Have you met them? 
I met his mom. I met his mom right before I did a show, like an outdoor show for like a city. So I met her and then like went and changed and did a show in front of her, his cousin and his cousin's wife. How did the show go? Really good. That's good. That's good. Like, very well. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing worse than when you're bombing and you're like, oh my. And then you have to like, I had a friend from high school who was like, hey, I see you're doing a show. And I was like, yeah, come. And then he came and um, it was like, it was a terrible, it was not a good show. And so I went up there and I was like, I'll just try like some new stuff. And I mean, I just bombed mercilessly. And then the guy who came up after me made fun of me. Oh, and so I was just like out there like and the guy was like, anyway, what else is going on? And I was like, oh, my God, this is <laughs> you got a day job. Kind of situation. Yeah, I was like, this is absolutely brutal. I was um, so scared. I didn't want to be like, ah, uh, I love your son. <laughs> Please yeah. no. love me. Right. <laughs> I'm the queen of dolls. <laughs> um, Digging do myself. You, deeper. Now, do you spend you're like me. You're a little kid. Do you spend a lot of time with friends and family, Maggie? When was the last time you saw your your family? Uh, I went home for Thanksgiving. Okay, so recently. and then that's, that's in Texas, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, that's in November, Nigel. <laughs> Are you be funny, boy? Are you giving me bahookies? Are you giving me bahookies? I'm giving you. Why you getting bahookies? Yeah, it feels like I'm getting some bahookies. <laughs> Getting organized is another one. Hillary, is Nigel organized? Um, I think he used to be more organized. I wouldn't think he used to be he more organized. More organized. I'll get files for everything. Then I forget. Excuse, me Nigel. Files excuse me, Nigel. Excuse me, It's not your time, Nigel. Hillary has the card. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah I th yes, I think that's true, actually. He is probably too organized. There's too much stuff. We need that's you know, a sign of organization, you think? File for that, a file for everything. Else. So he is really very organized. Does he does he regard. need all the things that he's keeping files for? Not really. No. So I think what we're dealing with isn't an organized person. We're dealing with what we call a hoarder. Order. Mm. Not a hoarder, no. Uh, yeah. No? But no. there is too much stuff. See, I, I thought yeah. at one point I'd write the story of my life and all of that stuff is relevant to reminding one what one should write about. So this is all in culmination of the book you're going to write that Maggie's going to read. research. Come on, research. Research. Research for what? What are you researching over there? Research for my, the book of my life. The Life and Times of President Hayden. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds like things are fine. Oh, what Maggie, you would you read? Boy. Maggie, would you read a book that Nigel wrote? Absolutely. Okay. okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love okay. you. <laughs> She's too kind. Uh, Maggie, what I if we shipped? Picture. What if we shipped all of Nigel's files to you? Would you just read through those for us? No, she wouldn't read <laughs> those files. Of course, she wouldn't. But anyway, I was president of the Glass. Glasgow Taxes Branch of the Inland Revenue Staff Federation. That's where the president comes. Is that from. an elected position? It was an elected position. Yeah. How, who who did you run against? Behind when they transferred me from Scotland down to England in the job. Who did who did you run against? Oh, I can't remember at the time. I can't. You remember. just beat his ass. Some though. loser. Yeah. Some right, <laughs> absolutely. Somebody like Donald Trump, a loser. Oh, <laughs> come on now, come on now. That's our that's our greatest president. You're talking about there. <laughs> He's the worst um, president out, right. and he's going to be in prison next next that, year. That's enough. Go off that. In fact, they should shoot him. Yeah. They used to, you <laughs> should shoot traitors. They should shoot traitors. Wow. <laughs> Hillary, what do you think yep. about that? Should Donald Trump be shot in the streets like your husband says? He thinks Putin should be shot. Mm, no, I don't. What I are you don't. drinking there, Nigel? You getting drunk? Talking about killing Trump in the streets? Vimto. Vimto. I okay. don't follow... Um, Donald Trump's life as much as Nigel does. Well, that's a shame. Um, the vultures Maggie, and the sharks are, you... are coming in on them. <laughs> Ma of course, it's only been that's only been happening for six years straight. Maggie, are you oh, no, organized? No, no, and are you talking? There. Are you dealing with the dolls right now, Maggie? Instead of listening to how Nigel wants Donald Trump executed? No, 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 no. I, I just want to show something to Nigel. Oh, okay, is it going to be a little Trump that you can cut his head off? The Vimto. Vimto. Oh my yeah. lord. Oh my I lord! I didn't think you had Vimto in the states. 
<laughs> no, it's a, a gold edition. I got them out of a little uh, mini ball and oh. I got the special gold edition Vimto. I, I've, I've loved Vimto all my life. That's my favorite. Not I, nev I never heard of it. And then you said you're drinking Vimto. And I was like, yeah, I've heard it. of that before. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You're like, I've heard of it somewhere. Where has I heard of that? Did you get it online, yeah. Maggie? Uh, just in the store, they have little, um, it's called mini brands. And so they have like little, um, your little dog shopping things. Like, this is a little thing of uh, blue diamond almonds. Oh my mm -hmm. god, delicious! Fabulous. And then this is a so kind of a go, different one Subway soup. You go, uh, oh, Subway soup. <laughs> oh. Now you go online and you find little things and you like put them in the doll cart and then you have the things sent to you. No, it's um you can just go to the store. Um, there's like mini brands oh, and a, then mini okay. brand foodie and they come in little balls and then you tear them apart and they have like little stuff inside, but they're like all tied up. So um, this one's like a TGI Friday burger. Oh, <laughs> nice. so your dolls and then, can get like, fat. A little sushi. Oh, sushi. Now you like your sushi, boy. And then... I, I don't eat to... sushi. Who eats sushi? Is it Nick? Pam does. I don't eat fish. Pam, Pam, oh, I know Pam, Gary. but I thought Nick liked it as well. Nick does, yeah. I'm Gary. <laughs> oh. Corn dog. Oh. No. So your Sonic, dolls are going to get pretty fat. Now, yeah. Eel, do you think that Sydney, Sydney and Reggie would like those? That sort of stuff. But that reminds me as well when Marks and Spencers were doing that thing. Yes, do you remember? They got did, all those didn't little they? items. Maggie, Marks and Spencers is a uh, clothing grocery shop that uh, my mother is 100% addicted to. And I would imagine you are too, Hillary. It's like Target. Uh I like not Marks as much as you, Mom. A little more, a little. But Marks and Spencers is in Canada. Do you not have it? You don't have it in America. No. It's in Canada, no. isn't it? Marks and Spencers. I don't Spencer. know if it's in Canada. It used to be. I think it used to be in in on the east coast in New York. It used to be in France as well. Mm. Yeah, they closed everything. But... Wow. Now, if ever you come to England, Maggie, you'll love it. It's lovely. Yes, if ah! you've got to see all the sights and. And Maggie, I'll take you through the automatic checkouts because you always get a little gift if you. Want. I was just going to say okay. that's where my mother is uh, prone to accidentally not. But you, ring you, your mother could. Up. Your, your mother could also take her gleaning. Go, Pam! <laughs> she, oh, by the way, Pam was gleaning uh, the other day. She found an orange on the street and tried to eat it for hydration. Oh, I did. I did. Yes. Oh, I found some flower pots for you. Never, it's never ending. It's like uh, living with a raccoon to some extent. But, but I'll tell you well, what, uh, if, if you're living in a country where the, the inflation is such, you'd be glad of any free food. Well, that's why we're going to shoot Donald Trump in the bloody streets. <laughs> oh, aye. And eat yeah, and, and 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 the animals feast on him. Let yeah, the dogs let the feast animals. on him. Yeah, exactly. Let the dogs eat his brain and belly. Um, okay, <laughs> learn something new. Have you ever had that resolution to learn something new, Mother? No, never make it. That's that's too. What's the last thing you've learned? What's the last like hobby you've picked up that you've learned? Would you say you like puzzles? I like puzzles. Um, She's really good at Wheel of Fortune. It's kind of unfair. Oh, I'm brilliant Ooh. at Wheel of Fortune. Um, I don't know. I, I, Cooking. I don't know because I'm I, I just move from one thing to another so quickly. My mind just goes like that. Yeah. There used to be a program called Butterflies. And I think that's what your mom's saying there. She moves as a butterfly. Did like a butterfly. Was that Wendy Craig, wasn't it? Wendy Craig, yeah. And who was the bloke? Life is like... No, is it a love is who like is a the... butterfly? But who was the bloke? He's really famous. He was in... Sounds really famous. Time flight goes by. Who was he? What was his name? This really famous guy? Yeah. What was this really, really famous guy's name? Who died? Uh, he's, he's, hey, he died he's... too. He skates, he skates my memory. Boom. I can see him. Can you? Yeah, mum can see him. So I think mum's a medium. No, he did. Well, he died, I think, just this year. Oh, he's just recently died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a new death. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Any, should we just get anyone else that we want to talk about that's died recently? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, another ex work colleague died in November for me. Yeah. Oh, he no, did? What did he... Andy's name was. Andy yeah. died. Yeah, Andy died. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. Uh, that really? was from 1970. I met him at Center One. Center One. What's Center One? Center One was the big, first big center for the Inland Revenue. 
supposed to be nine of them in the country, and they scrapped it after one, which they had in Scotland. That was oh, a so good the start. The center one it? died too. Everything no, died. they were doing it in mainframe computers. You had to input in data prep. You used to put in paper input and paper output. It was horrendous, horrendous. Sounds it sounds like what someone would say if they were making up a job. You'd be like, "What are you doing?" They're like, "I do paper input, paper output." No, they, that they, sort they, of data stuff. prep. They got data prep girls. That, they get bits of paper and they went doo, 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 into the computer. The computers was twice the size of our house. Huge things. <laughs> oh yeah, and you had to walk backwards through snow to get there. We get it. No, no, no. no. We Another didn't. We weren't one... allowed. It. We the ordinary people were never allowed into that room. No, no. And you were ordinary. Uh, yes, because the it was there were 17 floors in the building. I was uh -huh. working on the 10th floor. But you were the president. I know, of the union in Glasgow. Oh. Jeffrey Palmer. Hey. <laughs> Sorry? Jeffrey Palmer. Jeff Palmer. Jeffrey Palmer, Jeff yes! That's the guy from <laughs> Butterflies, maybe, or whatever the hell we were talking oh, one about. One of them, yeah. Yeah, and time Always like by. a butterfly. Yeah. Right, for sure. Absolutely. This is chaos. Well, we have to say that, isn't it? He's, he's, he's uh, very lighthearted. Another one is travel more. Oh, no. You want to travel After more? the no, pandemic, travel over. doesn't happen. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like traveling? <laughs> I think it's one becomes more reluctant after the old COVID, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Psychologically, Maggie... I think it affects people. Maggie, how often are you traveling? And are you flying most of the time? I don't travel a lot at all. Like before the pandemic, it was like once or twice a month I would go somewhere. Yeah. And now it's like. Do you drive to shows or do you just, are you like, whatever? I'm just in town. I haven't done an out of town show in a long time. Oh, like I think the last so out of town good. show I did was probably in um, San Francisco. And that's kind and you drove. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not too bad. That's well, I believe good. you're driving everywhere, more or less, Gareth. Most most of the time. And uh, I will say it's a decision that's aging pretty well, considering uh, this last weekend. Now, if you could go anywhere, Nigel, where would you go? Anywhere. 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 Oh, I don't know. I might, I might like to go to Hawaii. Well, well, well. And that's as like close to see as where, you get where, to America. Where they slaughtered Captain Cook. You want to go to where they killed a the man. They killed Captain Cook in Hawaii. Right, right. Yeah, awesome. And, and then they cooked they... them. Then they cooked them and ate them. Well, that's how they got, <laughs> that's how they got the name. They thought yeah. it was a direction. <laughs> yeah, they thought Captain Cook, which is a yeah. lot like Captain Hook, but not as tasty. Maggie, if you could go anywhere, where would you go? Um... You know, I guess the older I get, the more I'm like, I want to visit Nigeria. Ah, okay, right. is, is that your heritage place? Yeah. Yeah. My grandma. You, Nigeria is a, a difficult place. There's a lot of trouble in Nigeria. That's that's why my dad hasn't taken us. He was like, there's just too much going yeah, on. It's, and... it's a religious thing, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, mo Muslim and, uh, and and Christian as well. Oh, is it? I thought it was just wild and well, it is, and, and, and there's rebels up in the, in, in the wilds as well. And, of course, there's a lot of fighting around about the, for about the oil, where, where they're fighting about well, for oil as well. Not it's not a, a, it could be the, the best and more, most wealthy country in Africa if they got the act together, I think. It's corrupt. Well, a lot of corruption. And, yeah. and my guess is that has nothing to do with any of the countries that we live in trying to get the oh yeah they, of things. course it would have a lot to do with no that. no no i will not nigel i will not sit by and allow you to to make such accusations to, to malign the us of e well they're just as bad as the uk you mean the, best, you mean the number this. one country in the world the best country in the world number one everybody thinks so <laughs> <laughs> number one country best country name a better yeah. country what's the best country? well what what, what <laughs> we've established <laughs> gareth with that name that should be unmentionable, it isn't a true democracy. Not Donald like Trump? that at all. That part. I think if you met him, you'd probably get along with him, Nigel. Well, if I met him, I would strangle him. <laughs> <laughs> it's on sight. <laughs> a lot of threats. A lot of threats coming from you. Uh, okay, no, no, here's threat. the... No, no, here's... no, there's very few people I would do that to. But he's caused such trouble 
and he's leading his country almost into a civil war that he deserves to be strangled. Mom, you like Trump. You've said you're attracted to him. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I'm going to say someone else. <laughs> um, okay, here's the last oh, one. Oh, can do way better. Oh. Here's, yeah, you could get Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> Whoa. What's the matter? He's as thick he's as sexy. two short blanks. He's got a lot of good, he's got shark teeth. Relax. What? He's a delightful coquette. Okay, here's the last one. Break your smartphone addiction. Maggie, are you addicted to your smartphone? No, no. Yeah. My phone for the past two weeks says that I've been using it less and less time. Good for Weird. you. Around the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, you're not doom scrolling? You're just like... Just watching regular TV. You think you're better than me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Coming across. <laughs> Uh, oh, great. She's clapping. You're not at a show, Pam. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> She's watching the telly. Yes. Oh. We're watching the telly. Yeah. And you might watch Wheel of Fortune. Yes. If you want to yeah. watch Wheel of Fortune and feel stupid, do it with Pam, right? Yeah, but if you want Jeopardy and feel clever, do it with Garfield. He's very good. Well, you just said it made it sound like I'm bad at Jeopardy. Fiona gave us a, a, a Christmas present of a fire stick. So now we've got access oh. to all sorts of everything. Films, everything. Films, things you can watch that are not CNN, Nigel. Things about not. Well, uh, yes. We now, Hillary, is he, just, is he Hillary. taking advantage? Is Nigel taking advantage of the fire stick or is he still just watching stuff about Trump? You know, we have actually we've watched a few films. And whilst Fiona was here, we watched some nice films. We watched The Railway Children, the new one and the old one. And mm. we watched um, uh, A Dog's Journey. A that Dog's was Journey. a really good fit, a lovely, mm. you know, sort of some of the children's films. What's that other one we watched that was um L L L oh. the crocodile? Leo Leo the Crocodile. Yeah, like ah, that's that's that one. Yeah. That, that, that was good. And um They watched it twice, the kids. Yeah. Yeah. So so we've watched So we were forced you, to watch Nigel, it. did you yes, we have taken advantage did of you, it. Did you were you shouting at the children that they shouldn't watch the same thing twice, Nigel? I did not. I he did not. Saying, hell, you've he already seen this. No, he kept saying, why is it that I'm the only one? Hey, they all watching? put these things on, and I was, I was the only one left watching the damn thing. So you're watching the uh, <laughs> crocodile alone, essentially. I did see a bit of Dances with Wolves as well. Oh, you like that one? That's one of my favourite films, Dances with Wolves. I, I, I like standing up for the downtrodden people, the, the Native Americans, the Native Australians, the Native, me, Native people in New Zealand. Okay, you're a fighter for the indigenous. Them. But, Nigel, we, let we me ask you this. Them. Let me ask you this, Nigel. Let's say if one day you were helping some like some indigenous people build back the land that the, the white men had squandered and taken away from them, and one of them fell in a rose bush and got a bunch of thorns up his side, what would you say to him? Would you say, that's okay. Silly boy. Yeah, you'd say silly boy. Yeah, I, yeah, know, just... I wouldn't deal with it any differently. As I pulled him out, silly boy, silly boy. No, that's you're not a you're not a friend. Well, tough love uh, it is. Tough I've love. my New Year's resolution has to do with smartphones. The yeah. smartphone. This is maybe you guys are all gonna think this. Thought maybe it'd be a little aligned with Maggie, but it feels like she's better than me. But uh, no more uh, phone near the bathroom. That's not happening anymore. <laughs> Phone's not going near the bathroom anymore. <laughs> You know, Maggie, you. I don't talking about reading my books, as Maggie books. says, that was my favorite place for reading the bloody well book to escape the the family. The Wait, toilet. what were you going to say, Maggie? I don't take my phone into the bathroom. Yeah, because you're better than me. Because I'm afraid oh. of like dropping it and like ah! which which happened to me one day when I was talking to Pam. I was having a piss and I think I'd set my phone nearby trying to not tell her and then it like slipped off of something and literally fell in the toilet and that was this phone that i'm still using okay so how do you feel about that um, my Pam, will you have a sniff at that and tell us what you find have a sniff. <laughs> it's been cleaned I, the time. I remember i said you, you you hadn't weed in the toilet had you and he said oh yes <laughs> i think i lied to her <laughs> so it did. It was pee. It'd been I've peed on my phone. And but that's not why I'm doing this New Year's resolution. That's separate. <laughs> well, all right. So that's the New Year's pandemic. I did want to end on a picture that I thought was very funny. But then now you you brought it down, Nigel, with the fact that you're one of your heels is septic. But I just thought this encapsulated the holiday spirit pretty great. Oh, 
We did not. I did a family. Not. Did you get that? A family said, sitting around. That was so funny. Enjoying was so funny. a nice. Can you speak? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, yeah. the following morning, both Reggie and Sydney wanted insisted that they have a foot bath. bath. That's they so wanted a foot bath too. Did they? they each had oh, one. Yeah. Each had one. That was and they each got one. Yeah. Oh. We were watching Lyle the Crocodile. Lyle, Lyle, Crocodile. It was, yeah, when that was all going on. Yeah. And well, it was and nibbling then, at Sydney's toes. What was nibbling at her toes? Lyle, Lyle the Crocodile. I have a feeling you were Lyle. Um, <laughs> let's just real quick, one more time, just get and in on these. And you insisted you had a foot bath. That's now what is in there? What what's in that bath, Nigel? What what are we putting uh, in just, there? Uh, just some soap. Just some and, soap. And, uh, you, you turn it on and it kind of goes. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's like it is actually like a foot koozie. Yeah. Yeah, something yeah. like that. It's as you can. I think we need a you new could put one. That in that in you could put that in one of Maggie's dollhouses, and it could be an Olympic pool for some of the guests. <laughs> yeah, but it's a little bit big. Yeah. Well, they have I a mean, big pool. It, yeah, they have a big pool. They're they're doing well. Let them, you know, let them live. They have know? a, they they have have a be, helicopter. They'd have to be an outside pool, wouldn't they? <laughs> they have a I helicopter. I love your doll's house, though. I'm just they're doing to... very well, is what we're saying. <laughs> they're okay? living. These are the one percenters. They have a helicopter. <laughs> they they swim in Nigel's septic foot bath. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, any any parting words, Nigel? Any thoughts you want to send to the uh, people? I, I, I mean, who knows? We'll do another one. I hope I'm hope that predictor's wrong about there being uh, another civil war. You had a, a violent enough one sixty one to sixty five, eighteen hundred sixty one to sixty five. I wouldn't like to see that happen again. And I you just want to everyone has a reasonably uh, happy and prosperous new year ahead. That would be nice. So you're basically your parting words are you hope that everyone has a, a happy, prosperous new year and your gut tells you there'll be civil war in the country. No, no, it's nothing to do with my gut. That was and if there is a civil war, Donald Trump will be strangled or uh, no, so, so if there is a civil war, he'll be at the center of it. He'll be a b big part of the cause. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because of okay. all the lies he tells, and mm -hmm. people believe him. So yeah. There's about 50 million people in the US of A who actually seem to just follow everything he says as if he's a, a demigod. Preach. And they must well, be idiots because well, he's I, totally self-centered. To, just guy. to just to devil's advocate on his behalf, he's yes. he's a hell of a guy. Um, a hell of a mom, well, these tax returns are proven he isn't even a hell of a businessman. Oh, come on now. Trump steaks. You can't go anywhere without eating a Trump steak. Well, tell them about the, the little cards he's put out. Now, just probably read about him. Um, little card. For the oh, the NFTs. You've heard about the NFTs. Where he... Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Getting people to yeah. pay money for a lot of rubbish. Yeah, yeah that's that's. <laughs> but he didn't even guy. ask permission for the, of the people concerned, did he? It's a hey, look, he's yeah, a good businessman. Fruit. So, I, honestly, I just can't imagine an eagle. And I got mom two of those for Christmas. <laughs> you did? Yeah, and she really was very negative about the whole thing. I don't blame her. Yeah, well, I mean, one of them, he looked like he was made from rockets. Uh, Mother, any parting words for the New Year's other than don't cross your legs because it won't go as you wanted it to? Well, uh, no. Um, well, I just hope everybody has a really happy New Year. And the Civil War that's coming? Uh, we well, hope the Unionists uh, win. I hope it doesn't happen. Okay. Interesting. All right. Uh, Auntie Hillary, any thoughts? Well, it's it's lovely to have spent this time together. And also, I hope that we have, everyone has a, a happy a and healthy war. new year. Nine, I mean, no, if it's going to be a, it's a good it's year. Gonna be, it's going to be a civil war, as in we'll be very sort of like, are you ready to, but you know, it's not going to be one of yeah, these yeah. sort of like, can hey, I be, can I be on it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where would look. you like it's me a, to do it? We're, we're going to be civil, like, Nigel. Look, if I and if you, nobody would want to fight on the side with you because someone would take like a Molotov cocktail to the head and you'd be like, "Stupid boy, why'd you take that glass to your head? Yeah, pull the stupid glass <laughs> out." You know, we're fighting a big. This is a generational battle. Should have ducked. Should have ducked. Should've ducked. ducked. War. Stupid boy. Should have ducked. Yeah. Should have been like Lyle, Lyle, crocodile. Now put your yeah, head duck. in the foot bath. <laughs> Uh, Maggie, parting words, 2023 thoughts. You wish we, we could, we, how we would all love to live like the dolls, but any thoughts for the next year? 
Um, I hope everybody has a great new year. I love you all. I hope I get to go to England and go to this store. Yes, it's a lot of fun. And, and when you uh, say you love everyone, do you mean everyone in general? No. Oh, because I was going to ask about uh, Donald Trump, who seems it's to everybody be on this Zoom. Zoom. So okay. I, I, have one, I have one last personal question I, I would like to ask Maggie. You say about your boyfriend. Can you tell us his name? Is that a secret? It's Ted. Ted. Ted, come. Oh. Come Bring say hi to Nigel. <laughs> this is big, Nigel. Don't blow this, Nigel. Hi, Ted. You've I'm got a beautiful girl there, Ted. You lucky man. You oh, lucky man. Hey. What, what's the doggy's name? I like that doggy's name. Olive. 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 Oh, oh. she's oh. beautiful. Oh. Very, very well behaved participant in a Zoom chat. Always. Oh, oh well oh. done. Beautiful. Little, little bit of a camera mug. <laughs> well, we wish you a very ha happy New Year as well. Oh, bless happy you. New Thank Year. you. And Absolutely. make sure to keep your eyes on Olive when the Civil War comes your way, because uh, Nigel's got a strong predictor of that. Watch my no, back remember around, to Carl. duck. Yeah, right. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, listen, I think uh, everyone spread bye, love bye, and spread joy, and uh, it'll be 2023, and uh, every year we uh, we always say it can't get crazier, and it probably will, so let's enjoy 2022, because 2023 will probably be fucking nuts. Right, Mom? Oh, I will. I don't know. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you, everybody. Good to see everybody. Uh, Nigel, I hope your heel gets less septic. Well, Maggie, yeah. I hope the dolls enjoy their uh, septic foot bath. Mom, I hope you finally get to put a ring on it with Donald Trump. And uh, Hillary, I hope you get to watch less CNN. <laughs> very negative. Uh, all right. I wish you all the very best. Well, we Lovely you. to see you we again, Maggie. You, you as well. Always good, good to see you, yeah. Nigel and Hillary. And Yes, Pam. Yes, See you sometime soon, I hope. Gareth, arrange it. <laughs>